Another important tool for a percussionist is the bow, okay? A lot of times we are asked to bow a lot of different things. Uh, we're asked to bow cymbals, we're asked to bow gongs, uh, we're asked to bow marimbas or vibraphones, which are interesting sounds. Um, but, you know, typically you want to have, for any sort of band program, you want to have at least two bows, because um, that'll get you through a lot of instances. Okay, there's some instances of percussion ensemble or some of the more intricate uh, band pieces, such as Frozen Cathedral by John Mackey or some pieces like Angels in the Architecture by Frank Tichelli, uh, where you are required to have multiple bows. Okay, now here we have a uh, cello bow, which is fine, but it's not ideal, okay? The ideal bow that you want for your students is our bass bows, okay? Because they're gonna be much thicker. Um, they're gonna have a lot more hairs on the, on the bow itself to get some sounds happening, all right? So it's also important to just practice good etiquette with our bows, okay? We need to make sure that we always loosen the, the hairs themselves so that they don't stretch over time, okay? And then obviously when it's time to go, we need to um, tighten them back up. Okay, so having rosin as well to make sure that we get the grittiness to make some of these sounds happen. Now one last thing that is super, super, super important for our percussionists is the use of black towels, all right? So many times, whether they're playing keyboard instruments, whether they're playing timpani, whether they're playing bass drum, you have a lot of different types of implements that you need to be using, okay? As we've mentioned before, you should never, ever, ever let your students just put their mallets or their sticks on the music stands that have their music on it, right? Because that's gonna create a lot of unnecessarily sound and it's quite frankly a little bit unprofessional, especially once you get to, to high school, all right? So for these black towels, <clears throat> you know, these are just common, towels that we find at uh, um, Target or Walmart, okay? Every percussionist should own their own, okay? I own about 20 of these black towels and it's probably overkill, but just because these are such a critical, important uh, item in any percussionist's mallet bag and stick bag, all right? So generally what I do is I can use a music stand <clears throat> as simply just toss the black towel on top of it, and I'm able to use it as a nice silent holder for my mallets, okay? So especially with quick um, changes, I can put them on with, with minimal contact sound, because if I did not have it on there, we get a lot of extra noise, and that's not what we want, right? This is also prevent your mallets or your sticks from falling away and falling onto the ground, okay? So it's typically, I like just putting them, you know, straight on the straight surface, but some, um, some percussionists like putting them at an angle so that they have an easier time of reaching them, okay? So critical, critical, critical for any percussionist's mallet bag.